yeah, it's exciting. Uh, so that's that's cool. Yeah, so far I sold five courses today. I'm hoping it's it's still kind of slow. It should be a little bit more than that. What I had, but you sold five today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was trying to go for like nine or ten with this new technique I'm trying out, but um, I don't know. Still, still working. Hopefully, I get a few more by the end of the night. Well, I mean, it's, the day's not over. I mean, certainly, I would say the best part of the day is coming up. What in the next two, three hours from now? And it's going to run yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, I'll get like another four to six sales like that at the night. So hopefully it goes all right. You're the boss, man. Yeah. Yeah. You got to teach me what to do. Uh, certainly, you know, your methods obviously work. And I mean, you know, it's just right now our job to convey that value to our uh, to our audience. And um, here, I about, let me uh, share my screen with you so you're able to see it. Oh, you got a whiteboard. There's something over there, right? All right, can you see me? Let me know when you're able to see me. What's that? Let me know when you're able to see my screen. Yep, I can see it. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm going to uh, record this. Uh, I've got... Uh, uh, I've got it just focused on the uh, the data here, so um, okay. nobody will see you taking down that uh, big muscle uh, protein shake you just took down. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, all right, so <clears throat> let's see how things are going. Um, we've got uh, the, the first campaign that was launched on the 17th, one on the 19th. Uh, we're two days in, one day in on this one, so let's go ahead and let's start with the one that we're two days data-wise on. Couple things right off the bat. Uh, our click through rate is uh, is pretty low. Uh, you know, we want to see it about one one and a quarter, one fifteen, something like that, and we're we're, we're below here. Uh, okay. We've got some conversions. Our cost per conversion is really bad. Our conversion rate is uh, also really bad. So, uh, well, it's it's not necessarily bad. I mean, certainly most people I think out there would love to have a thirty eight percent on their top tiered funnel conversion rate. Mo most would kill to get that right, but. But in your case, you're already running at, you know, 52, 53% pretty consistently, so. I think those pictures didn't work surprisingly as well as that stupid picture of me at Ty Lopez's house. That's, that picture seems to just for some reason sell well. Well, you know, that's, and, and that's what we're going to use to, uh, we're going to use the data to tell us. So let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at it real quick, if you don't mind. Yeah, sure. Um, our top ads, once again, is with you. Um, you know, this has got a pretty low conversion rate I let's see let, let's see how many we've run so far we've had what uh, 1600 impressions ish yeah it's getting pretty close to where we can see what's kind of going on here and I think first and, and foremost let's go in and let's see which campaigns are still active or which ads are still active okay so we've still got quite a few going on uh, quite a few networks so let's go ahead and let's optimize that we came here and I'm going to do some See how things are kind of going here. Um, so this conversion value on making big profits on eBay is so we've almost had a thousand impressions, close from both. Click and still, you know, uh, it's about to click the right, but it's not converting as well. So that seems like an issue. Um, Learn how to. I mean, this this might be more of an actual type phrase that's really triggering people here. I think that we should at this point go ahead and let's let's roll. Well, let's look at how it's broken down by age because I think we can kind of get an idea. <clears throat> okay. Let's take a look at this. Um. So I already paused out here for the 45 through 49 age group, but you can see it's also paused out here. This age group's already been okay. eliminated from this ad set right now. Yep. Um, the other campaign where we have such a great conversion rate, remember, is targeting uh, 50 through 56 year olds. And it's also targeting 18 to 21, but the ad budget split on it is about two to three. 
So, um, you know, well, even actually more like four to five because it's mainly focused on the uh, 50 to 56 group. Anyhow, on this one, um, looking at these two different headlines here, let's take a look at comparisons on these on the 18 to 22. So it looks like we've gotten most of our clicks from this age group on this campaign. Mm -hmm. next, next being 56 through 60. Which campaign is this? This is the um. This is free ebook learning profits v1. Oh. So without when we did a sonar, I don't actually have. I don't know how to follow any of this stuff, so I'm not sure. Um. So. Uh, that this is just what the campaign is doing. Then we had ad sets where we, we were doing split tests under this, though, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, we're doing tests on all this stuff. So here, once again, I'm going to go ahead and eliminate this because I can see it's occurring pretty much on everything. Um, this one, this one's going to go ahead and get paused out. Okay, so we're we're good on the headline. Let's look at the call to action because we we, can, we have some more room to kind of improve this. Uh, looks like it's only running. Well. It's only converted on learn more. Wow. Uh, that is interesting. Hmm. That's um, weird. Yeah, because I've run, I mean, that's been kind of the, been my biggest debate right now is watch more, learn more on the top tier campaigns because I found that, you know, learn more was actually underperforming watch more. And here it seems like it's, it's like not even night and day. Wow. So this is really uh, interesting how it's performed on this campaign. So obviously, it's performed with you know zero actions here. Not to say it won't or it can't, but it just hasn't. So let's go ahead and let's eliminate this. That's weird that that word would make that big of a difference. One Huge. word. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I've seen it lately on most campaigns, especially like on Andres. I've been able to see his actually watch more is much more preferred than than learn more. Hmm. Is it because it's a video or? I mean, because I don't really have a video ad. No, no. I mean, his his are running image based ads too, and it, it just varies. And I mean, I've done this with many other campaigns, and <clears throat> you know, a lot of them. Well, not a lot of them, but the one I was just working on, it, it came back with very similar stats. So, you, you know, for both of them. However, this one comes back with stats that show that the watch more hasn't even converted yet. And I mean, you know, once again, it doesn't always in the beginning. It's not always about the conversion value as much as it is about the click value. And you'll see that even here, watch more per click has become more expensive than learn more. And that's even, that's wow. I mean, that's, that's huge. I mean, that's, this is one of the first campaigns I've seen this actually take a twist mm -hmm. on. The one I just worked on, it was a break even, it was a match between them. And then, um, of course, on some, some of the other ones, you know, most recently, Andre's, you know, where we published over 2,000 ad sets, um, you know, there was, you know, watch more absolutely performed better in all geographical locations. So here, you know, it happens. So that's cool. Um, let's look at let's look at age because um, I think we're kind of we're getting some customer click is the highest in our uh, upper echelon group which we know sells and it's also it's not very bad it's actually great uh, in the um, eighteen to twenty two group yeah that surprisingly seems to be one of the best ones huh yeah and our conversion rate on the fifty six to sixty just hasn't received a lot of love. Need to restructure some of this, but it's getting a good click through rate. The CPC is very high. Wow. So this is something we're going to have to watch on because I mean obviously we have very low data here, but if the CPC even begins out that great, it could be because a relevance issue with the image set and you know um, just certainly there's a lot of things that could be calculated here, or it's just limited data. I mean, once again, we don't have a whole lot, but so far, the 18 to 22 group has been one of the best performing ones here on the click side. So good conversion. And obviously, the 56 group is really the, that and the 18 to 22 is the only ones that's performing. 50 through 55 is not performing. So far, but I mean, low data, small data. Um, could, could we take something from this and say, hey, we've already got a campaign going 50 to 55 and let's try something fresh and new here? Possibly. I think that we have to give this a little bit more time in order to get more data in. I mean, certainly we want above at least minimum threshold 1,000 impressions, 1,500 impressions. I mean, it just just as a bare minimum. And even then, it doesn't give you a whole lot. But for now, that's fine. Um, let's look at placement because I think we can optimize here. Um, wow. 
mobile Instagram audience. Instagram is definitely doing much better than desktop. We got to get rid of desktop. It's junk. Wow. Uh, mobile is zero, huh? That's weird. I know. And see, Instagram, and see, once we've talked about this, you know, our Instagram is always, we've seen, I mean, we've seen a ton of results off Instagram. And we've right. got a campaign that's we, we, we can launch that would actually you know do that. So anyway, uh, um, we just advertise on Instagram, um, or might be where we need to focus. Certainly here by the but once again small amount of data, but I mean even this is quite impressive. I mean it's nothing. You know. Uh, this this seems ridiculously high. I mean in this instance this campaign. Since we're running another one, I mean, and since we already have original ones that are already working, I would say that let's go ahead and make decisions to make this strictly Instagram. And let's, I mean, and, and I know it feels like I'm jumping the gun, which I am, but I think once again, we've, you know, this can be an acceptable conversion rate if we can get that CPA down by eliminating some of these other factors and some of these different images and ad sets. So, the images may work better in this instance here than others. So let's go ahead and let's let's go ahead and optimize this strictly for. Uh, look at the split test on click funnels right now because we had that going, and I think that could have raised our cost per click at the moment. So let me just look at this really quick. Um, it's we, we we got the control is doing a fifty four point eighty eight percent opt in rate right now, and the variation is only doing forty six point nine nine. So do you think that affects some of these? Uh, con like conversion rates there, having the split test going on? No, because, no, because once again, you're comparing 100 uh, views to 903, so you have about a 9 to 1 difference. Um, do I think that the variation, I mean, I think that maybe it could, it's obviously not going to, I don't think it's going to outperform the control at this point, but... yeah. I don't, I, I don't think it's, I mean, obviously it's something that more than likely you could get rid of here and then do another variation to see if you can't find something that gets a little bit different uh, response, a different, you know, uh, you know, I mean, obviously yeah. the image, this is where we change the image on this, you know, try it as, um, you know, I mean, you know, let's, let's go with a different image, you know, I mean, obviously the first image is very professional. But maybe let's try this image instead of going professional. I got an idea. Uh, my, my mentor told me to do this. Um, should I just create the duplicate? Is that what you do? Create a duplicate yeah. right here? Make sure, make sure to integrate. Um, he said to take off a couple things on this page really quick. And I'll show you what it was. Um, and he said it, it might help conversion go up to maybe 60%, 65%. So leave it as it is, not the image, but he said to take off the first name thing here. He said that the first name, they find it converts better. And this thing, 100% secure, he said delete this. Um, let's see. He said take off that and take off this name. Should I try that? Mm -hmm. if, they, if, I, if they don't put their name in, will we be able to get the subscriber first name under emails? Mm -mm. No. Mm. Well, I mean, some of it, yes, because like if they're in the system, it might pre like populate that. Um, <clears throat> let me try it without it, just for the hell of it, and let's see if we get a lot bigger conversions. Because I don't know if the name's that important, anyways. And if this didn't convert to like seventy percent or something, that'll be sick. Well, you got to so, think. You got to think that our whole goal here is simply just to get their email. I mean, her, their name. It doesn't yeah. really matter to us at all. Other than being able to make them a nice little, uh, uh, you know, auto-injected sub-reading, you know, hello, so and so, ooh, they call me by my first name. Doesn't make a damn. Let's try this and see what happens. Should I send all the traffic to this one and see, or do split test still? Split test. Split test. Okay. Always, let's always split test because. Let's see what happens. It's not that big of a difference, but I think it's going to throw things off that much, anyways. And if anything, I, I, think, I think. Well, I, I think that. I think that when you change the form going from two process to one, I think you could easily reasonably expect a seven, eight point increase, possibly more, yeah, um, possibly less. Um, but I would say shooting for the seven to eight point pop is what you're trying to go for. So you're trying to go from 53 to like a 57, 58, you know, 59%, you know, completion rate. So 
you beat that, you win here. Um, and the only way you find it, once again, is, is by doing these tests and, and going through these optimizations. And certainly, I think that we're going to see a better performance, you know, once we tune these campaigns that we're doing right now. And we, that way, it focuses the ad budget on going after ones that we know that work and in, in the uh, uh, channels that they work in. So here for this one, is strictly going after people on Instagram. So, um, but yeah, I mean, overall. Now, this one, look at the difference in this cost per lead. Any reason why we still have this picture running where this is 290 per lead and this one's 208? This is in your previous campaign? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Um, you may have the ad set cut off. You may have the budget. Okay, you get that one at 40. And you're running, I think the top one, 51 through, 41 through 50, huh? I didn't know you were running. I thought you were running on 50 through 56 or something like that. See, this, uh, this is what I relate to a lot better is just going into the ad manager. I'm not, when you use the ad express and you show me that stuff, I don't, I don't really understand what's going on much, but I just usually look at these ads and I can kind of get an idea of what's happening. Um, this, this, oh, wait, this is, yeah, I mean, I use the power, I mean, you know, using the power director is great. I mean, it's cool. I mean, I, I think ad espresso, it just gives me the ability to, Instead of having to go through and manually do a lot of this process and take and do a lot of copy paste and changes and iterations, I can simply do it one time and save you know myself and clients money. I think uh, it's all, okay. but I think if, yeah, you have to use it after you know. But once you know this, I mean, certainly there's areas where you have to come back in and look at this stuff in here, and this is one of them. So I mean, this helps you dial it in. However, Espresso does give you the ability to kind of visually see the data that you would normally have to dig through here. Um, now this one here, this is three dollars eighty one cents a lead, which is a lot. But look at that, a dollar sixty one per lead. Mm -hmm. Well, once again, we we saw that data just a minute ago. Um, oh, we did. Okay. Yeah, and here's the problem: is once that data is is is, is correlating right here. Um, we we don't know. We still got the fifty six through sixty group running. Um, we've took we've taken out the eighteen to twenty two desktop and mobile. So the only things that are running is 18, our, our young group, as well as our other age groups. So again, there's only one lead here. And to go in and say, hey, it's, it's, you know, it's going to be 381, I think is a little hard. I would say that okay. definitely looking at it from the 18 to 22 group, $1.61 a lead. Do I think that's, you know, within 30% of the ballpark where it's going to end up? Sure. So I think, I think that kind of applies to both. So really the one that's 381, though it doesn't have a whole lot of data run to it yet, it could be a loser, um, but we really don't know without you know being able to hit really some baseline metrics. And I know that we're trying to do as quickly as we can, but that's certainly a consideration. How about um, any of this junk, like uh, the ones that we're testing with all those pictures? We didn't get one lead off this yet, but I don't know uh, if that's because it's too soon or what you think. This is this is the one we did with all those different picks and stuff. We haven't got any it's too, leads on it, it, it. Well, it's, it's, I would say, too soon. And, well, we have to look at that campaign. That's the next campaign. Oh, um, okay. Yeah, that's number two. We can go over that. I mean, it'd be easier if we go over it on my end because I'll be able to read it quicker or make cuts oh, yeah, sure. that's instead fine. of having to click through on those. Sorry, I just understand that a little better still because I'm not really sure how to follow the ads for So I guess maybe one day I should just spend like 20 minutes with you just you showing me what, what those figures mean on ads for so I know how to read it in the future. Hey, I've got a course coming up uh, that, that would be great for you to join. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's um, absolutely. I mean, using Espresso, it, it gives us a lot of gives us a lot of options. I mean, it makes things, in my opinion, easier for me to go in and read and do it quickly okay. rather than digging through that, uh, that manager. So let's look, at, let's look at some top level stuff real quick. This is the new, new campaign. This has only been running about a day now. Um, we've spent, we got two conversions, very low conversion rate, very low click through rate, very high cost per click. That one converted and that one converted on Instagram. Again, Instagram. Wow. Instagram, Instagram. And this kind of shit might, well, I mean, not shit, but. But using going in and using things that are different, you know, or, or what can help you win here. So, 
let's take a look at this because you know more than likely we've got some places that we can let's go ahead and jump on over to uh then i can let me do that go ahead and tell you what's the problem oh um jd you're break I can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yeah, sorry, I was breaking up. Yeah, it might be, be the internet. Who knows? Um, yeah, here we need to probably we're gonna probably want to make cuts on the um, on the placement side. I actually didn't run that as one of the metrics because we have all these new images. So let's take a look at how these new images are doing on a click basis because it's too really too soon to even make a judgment on. It performing otherwise. Wow, that one was ten dollars for that clip. Mm. This one got eight clicks at the you know one and a half percent CTR, which is you know twice as much as this. this so one. is the pick. I don't think it's going to work. It's the one that happened, always does. Like that stupid picture of me on the hotel with the palm trees. It has nothing to do with phones or anything, and it, it had to work better than the other one. Well, you know, you know, and that's the thing. Like you can use something that's more of an attention grab or get them to stop and then take notice of what you're trying to message yeah. you're trying to say, and that's the idea. Hmm. So yeah, I mean, that's why you know the idea of taking 30, 40, 60, 100, you know, images. Once you know kind of what, what headlines are, are yours to use, you can take it and mix it up. And that's kind of like what I did for another client today. We took in, you know, pumped out 16 different images uh, for the same campaign and just, you know, iterated multiple campaigns on it. And, um, you know, to see which of those, you know, are performing. So we're kind of doing the same here with this. Um, none of this converted, though. So, I mean, I would say let's get rid of this one for right now. And let's, okay, let's, let, it, let's let it... Uh, Focus on these two. Those are the best ones? Well, so far. They're the only ones that have converted. But I mean, once again, they're not converting well. And I mean, this might, this might be something we have to cut. And more than likely it will be. Let's look at how these two are. Okay, so this one's cost per click. Almost same impression rate. So obviously the CTR is trash. Cost per click is $7. Look at how the way the wording is can cost a five, you know, four and a half times, three and wow. a half times increase in, in cost. The learn that make that little bit of a difference in the copy makes that big of a difference. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. So we just went ahead and get rid of a lot of camp ads that are not working. Uh, this is good here because let's, let's take a look at this. This one hasn't fired on any. This one's still converting. You know, and this is our original long text. And how's the shorter text doing? This one right here, I'd say, is needs to go and let these two kind of compete because this one hasn't had enough data as the first one. Okay. Because um, it's at a 22% conversion rate. So obviously, if we can get it like 30 on this one, this one would be better choice and how we could improve the overall campaign's conversion rate. So let's go ahead and let's, let's pause this out. All right. We'll let these two battle. Um, let's go ahead and look at our CTA here because I bet we're going to be surprised. Ah, look here. Cost per click is almost the same. Learn more's uh, touch less expensive. Let's see if there's any conversions on it. What's more is converted though. So, but it's converted at a twelve dollar uh, CPA. Wow. Hmm. A quarter of the people that clicked on watch more on the on one of these ads converted. Now, well, why learn more didn't though? Wasn't learn more working better typically? 
Well, on that other one, yes, it did, remember. But on this campaign, learn more. I mean, though we have very limited data here, um, I think it's, well, I mean, it's got a better click-through rate. It's got a little bit lower cost CPC, but this one has converted. It hasn't converted enough to even make me consider, because, I mean, we're still at a different impression rate. You know, it's about three times behind. Learn more hasn't run, you know, watch more has run three times as much here. So we can't discount this one yet. That was only a 25% rate, which we're trying to just beat. So we have to let this continue. And here we might be able to make some cuts. Let's look at cost per click. We always want to go with cost per click when you're starting a campaign out because we're really trying to bring down our cost and we're trying to find ways that we're able to get in front of our audience with the message that translates and actual um uh into them taking some actual which is to clip through and then complete the you know our squeeze page. okay so here um you know we're looking at you know what is the cost per click it looks like the the 58 to 61 age group and see i've got this campaign dialed a little bit more into ages better so this is cool we've only had one click here we've had very low impressions decent click through right very high cpc and it converted so we don't know here but we do know it's high. Okay, so we look at the rest of these, the 22, 22 through 25 group came in a pretty low CTR, high CPC, no conversions, low data still, but we're close to a thousand here. So uh, we really wanted to see at least one out on this because that would give us about a 15% yeah. conversion <laughs> rate. We're really not looking to get that low. So let's go ahead and cut this group. Yeah, the 22 to 25, I don't think ever was really that Right, good. and that's the only reason why I'm cutting it so quick now, and because I'm seeing that this campaign got a lot, a lot of impressions put onto this one. I mean, twice as much as this group that did convert, and, you know, like almost 10 times as much as this group that converted as well. So, I mean, we could have been devoting resources elsewhere, which is what we had to do. The cost per click was one, but the cost per uh, acquisition was 7.5. Why is it so high? Well, once again, I mean, you're looking at you're looking at such small data. I mean, you're looking, okay. you know, we're looking at very, you know, it's only seven clicks, so right. we don't know yet. Um, and and obviously things are going to change because the ad set, you know, the the copy, the headlines, the images, those things also play into a factor into all of these. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's what we're optimizing to do is bring that down. So I would say we cut out this age group. Um, we're, we're gonna we're, let's leave the others because they really haven't had a chance to run. Sure. Um, and then, you know, we'll, we'll call down. I mean, this is, once again, be an addition to the iteration process. So right now, <clears throat> let's just go with May 18th. Uh, you had seven clicks, um, conversion rate zero, huh? Why is that? Uh, is our pixel, I need to look at the pixel on this. Because it should be, yeah. Let me, I'm, let me. Uh, I'm gonna have to hop on there some, at some point, and look at the pixel on this, and, and make make some corrections potentially. So I think that's what we're well, hanging. Maybe it just didn't fire. Uh, right. Yeah, I don't so know. With the pixel for what is it? For Facebook. Well, let me. It, it's actually firing here, so it just maybe it just didn't fire. So because my conversion rate so is showing zero percent, so that's okay. Well, it's showing seven click zero conversion, so maybe that's correct. Okay, so. Three click zero yeah. conversions. So we, we we've have, haven't had. I mean, it's just not been really running a lot now. Ooh, it's only running at ten ninety seven. So I think that's. You don't think we have too big of an interest group mixed together, do you? With our like, ad budget, with our current uh, ad budget, yeah. Oh, yeah. What hang if we on, split out the, the the test of the audience group and split those into smaller groups to test the audiences? Oh, absolutely. And I mean, we can do that. We can do. You can you can break it down any way. What would we be running this at? Because this, when I trimmed down the placements, it took out, you know, the way the budgets were allocated. It just took it out automatically. Uh, 15 I mean, a day. Uh, uh, for all the ads combined? Well, no? just these two. These two campaigns, I think we would try and do like 20 hours a day or something just to okay. test. Okay, yeah. 20 is good. Let me go ahead and bump it back up. That's why we're not getting enough. We're, we're running it at $4. Well, just keep my, it just happened because I, I changed it, so. Okay. Let me get this corrected back up. So it's at ten ninety seven. So you know that happens when you go through and you're cutting out certain things. So we should see a, a, a performance increase on this end. So I think that's going to be um, important. Um, 
still going, we're doing good on our other sides. I mean, the leads are still flowing, um, and we need to really start focusing on our retargeting because that's where we we gain the most value. Just like um, if we were doing uh, email campaigns, right? And I know that email, I think, is our next big focus. So uh, these are good to go. These are running. Obviously, they're not performing as well yet from the other campaigns. Let's give them a little bit more time to run um, and let them find, you know, be finished on the tuning up process. We've got 39 ads running right now, 1,500 bots. So let's let those finish running. I mean, they've got small conversion values, but... Um, Let's see how they improve. And this one really is low, but I mean, it's it just hasn't run much. So, yeah, well, it's run okay. as much as this one has. Good God. This, I mean, this could just be a really bad campaign. Once again, I mean, I think we need to give it just a little bit more time. We're making really short uh, decisions without seeing some really solid things come back. Let's see yeah, how sure. these changes apply, and then we'll go, we'll take it from there. All right. Thanks for going over the, everything, JD. Appreciate it. Welcome. Uh, Okay, sounds good. So I guess maybe we'll reconnect. When's good? Um, Monday, I have a boot camp at my store, so I probably won't be able to